Hey guys, remember last year when I made a video about me buying Animal Crossing New Horizons? Well, today, I'm gonna show you my progress on the game. That's the wrong game console, idiot! What do you mean it's the wrong game console? I'll literally show you the size right now, look. You can clearly see that's the right size of the Nintendo Switch. Just turn it on then! Turn it on? Alright then. Ugh, it's 480p! You know what? You might actually be onto something, Pikachu. I'll take your advice next time. In you go! So, yeah guys, if you haven't already seen my last video about Animal Crossing, you can go watch it, the link is in the description. But it's not that important because it doesn't have any gameplay, it's just kind of funny. Now that I have a capture card, I can show you guys gameplay, so that won't be an issue. Enjoy the video! Alright then, well, here's my capture card! Switch. All righty yo then, here we are on the Nintendo Switch. Damn, Animal Crossing music is always really good. Oh jeez, this is about in 4K. Take me to your laptop to play Roblox today. No. I really love to Bloxy Cola with you. <laughs> Alright, so here's my house, and oh my god, that waterfall is really loud. You got mail. <laughs> Alright, so this is my house. Um, trying to make it Mario themed, but I just kind of put a random stuff here, like a. This is a sex doll, I don't even know. And then. A one year anniversary cake. That. And a one of mushroom. Uh, I literally just added that room yesterday, so that's why there's a bunch of stuff in the way. And I haven't done anything in there yet. But I'm gonna show you my bedroom now. It's all aesthetic, I guess. You got your candles, you got your snow globe and switch. Everything is like pink and blue themed. We got Audi on this poster. <laughs> My friend just gave it to me. And so yeah, that's the Audi zone. I don't even have Audi on my island. And we've got Flamingo. Get Flamingo. Me. Some mama bear in it. How oh, sick. I just sound like Marge Simpson. Oh my, I wanna sing to you, bubblegum cake. Yeah, no, I can't do impressions. Uh, I forgot to show my bathroom, but that doesn't matter because. It's a bathroom. So I'm gonna go around my house now. We've got all these marketing items. Pretty sick. Bombs. Jeez. This is where I keep all my turnips. And I'm also going some pumpkins here. So yeah, I kind of got this big hill. Now, come down here. We've got this bridge. And look, you can see my house over there. I, th I think that's a pretty sick view. It's just that there's one tree in the way. Oh, you stupid tree. Wait, no, I can't eat your shoe. Damn it. There we go. Much better. See, look, look at that nice view. We've got the house over there and everything. So over on this side of the bridge, we've got our campsite. Then it looks dead, I know. Yeah, but let's come back down to this area. Nasty weeds. So yeah, I've I've got um. This is where my old house was, right? Uh, this is an extremely modified version of an image of my face. So that's the closest thing you're getting of a face reveal, because. First of all, it's a Snapchat filter. Second of all, I scribbled all over my face. And finally, I imported it into Animal Crossing with really low resolutions and the incorrect colors. So, yeah. Cleo! No, it isn't. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. Here we got, um, Renee. Some default horse. No. 
Yeah, I've got like three horses on my island. This is where Lucha lives, or Luca, or however you pronounce it. Why is everyone calling me Harami? Huh? Wait. Seriously, Harami is the nickname that Agnes gave me, and only Agnes, so I don't know why everyone else is calling me like that. It's meant to be funny, right? Because Agnes is a pig, and pigs are Haram. If you don't know what that means, don't worry. But that's not the point. The point is, everyone else is calling me Harami, and that's, that's, not, that's not what I want. Here we go, big boy Mac. Shut up! Shut up, okay, there we go. Yeah, so this is one of my first original um, islanders, like one of the first two. I think he's pretty legendary, it's just his face looks a bit stupid. Oh well. Oh no, there's a tarantula, there's a tarantula. Jesus! Where is he? Bruh. No. No, where's it gone? Ah, okay. Stay calm. Pick up these weeds. Must be over here then. Maple, have you seen the tarantula? Oh yeah. Speaking of which, Maple's my absolute favorite villager. Islander even. You should probably get out of here. There's a tarantula somewhere. Too. My God, that was creepy. I can't just like disappear, just like that. I'm not dead, so I don't even know what's going on. Where's the Where's this tarantula? Everyone seems so calm, but I'm just worried. Oh well, while we're at it, I might just show my entrance. How I enter the island. So you start off here, right? And you just got this generic brick walls and apricots for any visitors. I'm still growing out these white flowers. So you come over here, and this is the middle. Yeah, it's just a water fountain. It's kind of basic, but whatever. It's better than it was before, because I always found this game kind of boring, but I'm only starting to play it properly recently. So yeah, I've literally had this game almost since launch. And you guys know that, but I've made terrible progress. And I even have like hundreds of hours on this game as well. So yeah. Oh well, seems like the tarantula's gone. Um, let me show you down here. This is where Agnes lives, and Agnes is right here. Yeah, see, she calls me Harami, right? But I only want her to call me that. Oh my god, this is one of the most legendary horses ever. Everyone, all my friends here say he's trash, but he is such a legend. Look at him, it's Elmer! It's Elmer! My salsa is your salsa. I don't even know what that means, but sure. Bro, this house deserves a 10 out of 10. Look look at this house. It even has a, a... This. Whatever that is. What? I don't even know what that is, but it's legendary. So now let's cross the bridge. And here we have Walt outside of his own home. He's like a kangaroo karate legend. He's an old wise man. Kiki lives here. And she's right there. Weeds. Smoke weed every day. Uh -oh. oh yeah, also, when I saw Maple on my campsite, I was like, oh my god, finally a cute villager. So I literally placed this house here and made her move on to this remote, like, mountain area. And I even made an incline literally just for her house. I even placed, like, green flowers for her. These are, like, ra these are the rarest ones for me. But I thought green kind of matched with the brown vibe. Green and brown. It's nice. She even has a river here. Right, now let's cross this bridge. So this is kind of like my shopping center. Ooh, money. Money. Jeez. Right, here we have Nook's Cranny. To me. Oh, go away, Timmy. So, in my island, yeah, we all hate Timmy. Timmy is just such an annoying neek. I forgot why I hate Timmy, but I know that I just hated him since, basically like the third day of this game or maybe even day one i don't remember either way right timmy who was just wandering around the island not really doing anything useful 
and Tommy was always inside this like was inside the first resident services so he was actually being helpful so Tommy is a legend yeah but Timmy is just a useless fat neek don't even know I'm checking that yeah it's abysmal it's not like I have any terms anyway just wanted to talk to Tommy you know Timmy's just Timmy could just get lost I would want to buy a harpsichord Jesus not gonna buy that trash I could make one of those in Roblox in five minutes for free. What a ripoff. Nah, I bet you I could make this whole ass game in five minutes in Roblox. Trash Nintendo game, that innit? Dang out. Now we have the Able Sisters. Sonic! And then we have the, um,. The Oki Sonic here. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Cucumber face. Get out of here. Nah. Never going there ever again in my life. Now, finally, the last area. So, we, I don't know. We got like some sort of plaza here. Here we've got Cleo's home. We saw Cleo earlier. Finally, the museum area. So you've got this like kind of hangout spot. You reach here, and you can go into the museum. I've got a decent amount of fossils, but that's about it. Jeez, look at these, bro. I haven't even seen these recently myself. I kind of wanted these to be a surprise. Wow, yeah, I've made some decent progress, but I haven't really, like, maxed out anything. So, this is how many, like, insects I've caught. I've got, like, half of them, approximately. Same goes with the fish. Actually, no, I have less fish than I have insects, clearly. I donate all of them to the museum, except once I forgot to donate a goldfish, and that's about it. And finally, I never go diving, so I've only got like, what, six? Alright, gentlemen, my time has come. I'm gonna go jump off this bridge now. So, yeah, guys, as you can see, my island isn't that great, but that's because for a very long time, I was unsure what to do. Sure, I was playing the game quite regularly, but... I just didn't make that much great progress, I didn't put in the time for terraforming, gardening, placing furniture, I didn't even talk to my villagers that much, so yeah. My controller's drifted really badly, no wonder I was still good at Mario Kart then. Thankfully my legendary friends bought me a new pair of Joy-Cons and oh damn they look good. Alright, back to Animal Crossing. Only recently I've realised how to play the game properly, I've been doing all the terraforming, I've been doing the stock exchange turnip thingy, and I've really enjoyed decorating my island. But if I wanted to play this game properly since the very start, I probably should have grown up with this series so I'd have been more familiar. And that's kind of why I wish I grew up with Animal Crossing New Leaf, because I love my 3DS and I played on it very much, and I think it would have been very beneficial if I actually played the 3DS version. And I've also heard great things about it, apparently the villager dialogue is a lot better, it's a lot less repetitive, it's just more interesting, the tasks are more fun, there's apparently a lot more content, which I'm surprised by, but yeah, that's why I actually tried Animal Crossing New Leaf. I actually saw Animal Crossing New Leaf in Asda for only 5 quid, so you know what I had to do to see Isabel in 3D? <sighs> Oh, where was I? Oh yeah. Let me show you my island, actually. Oh wait, my 3DS is inside my computer. Don't question it, let me just show you. What's that I was doing in there? Blip bong! <laughs> Hello, child. Cheese! This boy's warm. Okay, I got this bad boy back in, now just screw it. And the boy's here. 
Alright, so this is my 3DS home menu, and by the way, I could not capture audio, so this is a voiceover. So here, oh look, it's just about running around the tile screen. Yeah, I, I like that. I like the that kind of icon. It's a bit weird, but yeah. God, that music is amazing. Oh, that music is such a vibe. I really wish I grew up with this game. It's so good. It's oh, so good. Oh my God, look at Isabel. It's Isabel. Oh, Isabel actually looks better in this game than she does in New Horizons. I mean, I know in New Horizons she's HD, but she just looks cuter in this game. It's also like, you know, the original model. Like, <laughs> Yeah, I, I didn't really care for playing this game properly. I don't know, I played it twice and that was it. So I haven't done anything in Tom Hall, and I accidentally named my own character Isabel. <laughs> Checking the mail here. Why am I like trying to jump into it? By the way, I recorded this footage like a month ago, so I'm just rewatching it now, and I'm just running around like an idiot. Oh, and that's the whole menu safe. Oh, and just cut. Okay. Is that all I recorded? Bruh. Oh yeah, I didn't really play this game properly. Oh, and I turn it off. Safe. So yeah, as you guys can tell, I find Animal Crossing really charming. I love the character designs, I love the music, I love the graphics. It's just kind of hard to get myself into the game, you know? Like, I really appreciate what the developers have done, bringing people closer together, especially during a pandemic. Like, that's really helped friends hang out with each other, even though it's on a video game, at least they could see each other. And it was actually really fun for some people. And, to be fair, yeah, I actually saw a lot of my friends on Animal Crossing as well, but... At the end of the day, I didn't find the game, like, that engaging, so I just couldn't get myself into it. And, as you can see, like, I was trying to explain that if I actually played the game when I was a little kid as well, the 3DS version, then I probably would have, like, liked it more now, but... I didn't play it, so now I don't like it that much. Which is a shame, to be honest, because I think... I only like games that I grew up with, like Mario and stuff like that, which is kind of annoying and hard for me to get into new games, so yeah. So I literally got a PC and I still don't have any proper games for, oh my god, I only got Roblox. But yeah, if you're literally still watching this video, oh my god, thank you. I've put so much time editing this video and I really appreciate even just your view. And if you enjoyed this video, if you think it was an actual good video, please like it and maybe even subscribe. Uh, even though, to be honest, I don't make many videos like this. When I do, it, it's, it's a beautiful treat. So yeah, thank you for watching. Comment, maybe like, maybe subscribe, but definitely comment. And see you in another video. Bye! <laughs>